Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about therapeutic position. So therapeutic positions or position which allows the physician to examine the patient and also to provide therapeutic effect and comfort to the patient. Let's move on to the topic. The first one is supine position that is lying horizontally with the face and torso facing up. In the picture you can see that. Next one is prone position. Here the person lies flat with the chest down and the back up. You can see that in the picture. The next one is lateral position. So this is sideline position either right or left. If the individual lie on their right side, it is called right lateral recommend or right lateral decubitus position. If the individual lie on their left side, it is called left lateral recommend or left lateral decubitus position. You can clearly see that in the picture. Next one is Fowler's position. So here the patients are positioned semi-sitting at a 45 to 60 degree angle of head elevation with knees either bent or straight. You can see that in the picture. Here the head elevation is between 45 to 60 degree angle. So under Fowler's position, we have low Fowler's position semi fowler's position and high fowler's position so here we can see about low fowler's position here the patients are positioned with the head elevation of 15 to 30 degree angle with knees either bent or straight so in the picture you can see here the only difference is the head and elevation is at an angle of 15 to 30 degree let's talk about semi fowler's position here the patients are positioned with the head elevation of 30 to 45 degree angle with knees either bent or straight so here the head and elevation is between 30 to 45 degree angle next one is high fowler's position here the patients are positioned with the head elevation of 90 degree angle that is upright position with knees either bent or straight. So you can see in the picture the head and elevation is exactly 90 degree and this is just an upright position. The next one is Trendelenburg position. The Trendelenburg position is achieved by elevating the feet and legs of the patient above the level of the heart in supine position. So you can see that in the picture. Mm -hmm. The next one is reverse Trendelenburg position. So here the patient lies flat on their back on an incline of about 15 to 30 degree angle so that the feet are lower than the head. This is also called anti Trendelenburg position. And in the picture, you can clearly see that. Next one is Sims position. So here, the person lies on their left side with right hip and knee bent. You can see that in the picture. Next one is the knee chest position. It involves bringing the knees to the chest. As you can clearly see that in the picture. Next one is dorsal recumbent position. Here the individual lies flat on their back with lower limbs flexed and rotated outwards. You can see that in the picture. Next one is lithotomy position. So here the individual lie on their back with their legs separated, flexed and supported in raised stirrups. You can see that in the picture. Next one is 
orthopnic position it is a sitting position where an individual leans slightly forward with their arms propped up on an overbed table or their knees it is also called tripod position next we can see about squatting position it is a versatile posture where the weight of the body is on the feet but the knees and hips are bent as shown in the picture next one is recovery position if the person is unconscious but breathing and has no other life threatening condition then the individual can be placed in recovery position for that first place the nearest arm at an right angle as shown in the picture then put the back of the other hand next to the cheeks closest to you and hold it there last bend the fore knee grasp the fore leg and roll them onto their side so this is sitting and standing position nothing to explain more you all know about it the next one is jack knife position which will be given inside the operation theater so here the patient lies on their stomach with the hips raised while the head and legs are lowered you can see that in the picture next one is kidney position this also will be given inside the operation theater so here the patient assumes a modified lateral position wherein the abdomen is placed over a lift in the operating table that bends the body you can clearly see that in the picture the next one is fracture table position this position is also given inside the operation theater so the fracture tables are designed to allow the surgeon to perform common orthopedic procedures so according to the sites of surgery the position will be given on the fracture table you can clearly see that in the pictures the last one is the wilson frame position here the individual lies on prone position the wilson frame flexes the lumbosacral spine and opens up the interspinous spaces posteriorly you can see that in the picture thank you so much for watching this video if you are working in a hospital most of the times the physician may tell you to provide a comfortable position to the patient so if you know all of this position you can do it with confidence i hope this would be helpful for you guys if you feel the same kindly like share this to our friends and subscribe my channel my channel name is jebin shine and don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever i am uploading new videos thank you all see you all again with one more interesting topic until then it's bye from jebin bye bye take care